Hello everybody, today we have a 2011 325. The problem with this vehicle is after the replacement of alternator, uh, all the windows, all the blinkers, um, and the headlights, everything, I mean, a lot of stuff stopped working on the car. This usually happens that um, there's a power surge or uh, some type of problem with the uh, FRM module or the footwell module. Once the power is disconnected or connected in a certain way, it just, it has a factor D effect that it, it loses the um, programming data in it or the, the file, the programming file just gets corrupted. I will show you guys how to fix that up using the OTL M608. It's a very simple procedure actually. You just need to know a little bit of soldering, which is not very crazy, very simple. Let's go ahead and see how we could do this. Go to programmer and um, accept. We're gonna be using the XP400 actually with the APA 109. By the way guys, the footwell module is usually located on the left footwell of the vehicle, um, on the driver's side, where the left foot or uh, the cover where the hood latches on. Once you remove that cover, you will see the black module in there. And actually, that's what it looks like. I would have took it off. All right, so we got to go to chip, EEPROM, MCU, ECU side. Read, write. From here, we're going to go to body repair. You will see on the BMWs in here. And we're going to find our module in here, okay? This is our module. This is the label that's on it. So E90, E91, LED basis. So we need to find that, okay? So, um, let's see, E90 basis, LED. And I believe this is ours. E90, um, E91 basis, LED. With the processor number XCQ84 with a mask uh, 3M25J. Um, so we're gonna hit on this one. All right, just always try to read the instructions if you're not familiar with it. If, you, if it's your first time doing it, always good, it's a good idea. So we're gonna go to schematic diagrams. It's on the four points that we're going to be soldering on, which is very simple. All right, so this is the um, connection diagram. You can zoom on this, as you see, right here. I'm gonna open up mine. I will open up the cover. Just gonna turn it around. As you guys see, I will. I do have the same type of connections right over here. So I'm gonna do all my soldering and then uh, we'll go from there. But before that, I just wanna show you guys, as you see, I have an APA 109. That's what it looks like in here. And let's go and do the soldering and we'll go from there. Okay guys, as you guys see, I did all my connections according to the diagram. Right now I just flipped it around so it might look a little different. Okay, so what's gonna happen in here is the hotel will actually override the D flash on this car. I believe it's only the D flash. It will fix the corrupted file uh and it will write a new file in it and it's going to be done but once we put this back in the car we might uh, we might have to recall the car we might uh, encounter some abnormalities but everything should start working immediately after this is done but we still might have to do some coding to the car after this is done so let's go back out of here show the setup one more time it's very simple xp 400 apa 109 usb cable to the xp 400 and to the tablet and ready to go let's go back and all you do is just press start have a dog barking on the background guys all right this is the the flash file that's saved inside i'm just gonna save this one all right so let me just gonna put in here something test whatever whatever you want to put on that's up to you so now we will fix that file and put it back in here. 
I believe that was a D flash or the apron file. Now it will verify the problem is solved within, you know, uh, dividing data successful, which is, it says it is recovery successful, press okay. And that's it. Now I'm going to put this back on the car guys and we'll check it out together. See if this, all these problems gone away. Okay guys, by the way, this is exactly where it's located. Okay. I just reinstalled it again. It's a uh, moment of truth. I'm going to just start the car. Push the key back inside. All right. So let's try the windows at least. I'm going to close the door. Let's try this window. It might be reversed, by the way. Here we go, the windows start working. It's gotta be normalized, that's no problem. Let's try this one. This one works too. So, um, the joystick wasn't working also. I'm not sure if that's related to it. I guess not. As you guys see, it's not making any difference. This is a different issue. All right, well, let's go check our headlights. Oh, the lights came back. Oh, that the lights came back on. Let's see the signal lights. It was not working. Now it's working. And I just turned the lights on. Let's go see, make sure the headlights working. If it was actually properly working before, not exactly sure. All right, guys. As you guys see, the headlights started working too. That's all it takes, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And you'll never see a day.